wanted a dog since I was a very little girl. And every year I say I'm going to get one, but find myself getting very overwhelmed with all the different types of dogs, from which breed will fit my lifestyle the best to which dog will work best in an apartment. There's so many questions to be answered before you decide to buy a dog. And Samantha from the Humane Society is going to give us some tips on finding the perfect dog. Good morning. Hi, guys. Can you help her? I know. So I can help you. Don't worry. I'm confused <laughs> on what dog would fit my lifestyle. Where do I even begin? Uh, well, that's the thing. You want to do some self-evaluation first and foremost. You want to think, you know, how many hours am I working? Am I going to have time, money, income to support this animal? And so uh, the thing also is you want to realize is, is your lifestyle very active? Are you always going on jogs? Or are you pretty laid back and mellow? So take a look at yourself, do some self-evaluation, and then go from there. Um, I remember, I believe Sarah had said that there are up to 25% of purebreds. Uh, the Humane Society, which is a pretty big number, mm -hmm. right? Um, so what sort of breed should we be looking at when we are doing that self-evaluation? How do we sort of match up us with a breed? Well, I always like to go by the temperament of the animal as well as how active they are. Because if you're a pretty active person, you're going to want a dog, for example, a boxer that loves to go on long jogs and likes to be active with you. Um, and purebreds don't necessarily mean that you're going to get a dog that is going to fit that profile. Yes. That's a good point. So the beauty in the Humane Society is that you can come down and you can look at the dogs because a lot of them have history. And so you can see if that'll fit into your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And now at the Humane Society, can I actually work with someone to say, okay, this is the type of lifestyle that I have. This is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little bit bigger dog. And can you help me pick out a good dog? Yes. Okay. And I'm really glad you asked that question because a lot of people come in and they're just really overwhelmed. And, and they're so cute. You just want them all. You want them all. That's the <laughs> thing. And so um, what we do is we fill out a profile and that kind of just gives us a basic idea of what your lifestyle is. And then from that point on, we go through our list of the different dogs that we have in our um, at, at our shelter. And for the ones that we have history on them, we can find the best match for you. And you can take them out into the yard and meet them and see if you guys bond or like each other. Oh, that's cool. And I know that it's always so sad when you hear that people can't just afford their animals anymore and that's why they've had to surrender them and maybe they don't realize the financial cost that goes with adopting an animal. It, how can you estimate that when you're looking at a dog or a cat, and bird, whatever it is? Well, 63% of the animals that come into the Humane the Humane Society are owner released and it's because of financial hardship. I think the United States spent about $50 billion on their animals a year. Whoa. And so you have to consider medical costs, you have to consider food, if you have a cat, litter. Um, and there's so many different things that go into play, especially toys. People mm. spend tons of money on dog toys. Yes, coats, and, costumes. Right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, for holidays. And so keep that in mind when you're looking at it. Sure. So would you suggest that people just go online to start doing research on like what regular checkups cost and kind of making a list? and see if they can budget it in? Yeah, it's important that you do your homework before you even go out and get a dog to make sure that you can afford them. And also, I like to mention, um, think about getting some insurance on your pet. A uh, lot of people don't really think oh. about that, but it's a good way to kind of guarantee that if your dog ends up getting cancer or they end up getting really sick or accidentally break a leg, it's a way to protect yourself and your pet um, in the long run. Mm -hmm. Well, Bella, who you have here, looks incredibly healthy. Yes, Tell us about her, please. It is. Can you guess her age? Ah, uh, well, it's up on screen. Six oh, years old. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is six, but she's super healthy. Um, she's a really sweet girl. She is very active, and right now you wouldn't be able to tell because she's sitting pretty, but uh, she would do great in a highly active family, and uh, she gets along great with other dogs and kids. And do you know what kind of dog that is? Yeah, she's a fox terrier mix. Okay. All right. Um, what is the protocol then for adopting an animal? I know we go through it every week, but, you know, for somebody who's just tuning in. No, definitely come down to the Humane Society, look at all of our dogs. We also have cats and we also have pocket pets, so gerbils and ferrets and hamsters. Oh, I love that. Pocket pets. Pocket pets. <laughs> and so uh, fill out a profile. And if you have dogs at home, you can bring them down to the Humane Society. They can do a little meet and greet and see if they get along. And like I said earlier, if you are feeling overwhelmed or you're not sure what to do, our shelter staff would be happy to help. All right. You all Perfect. are wonderful down there. Samantha, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. And if you are considering adopting a pet, pay the Humane Society a visit. They're located at Kelvin and Greenlee, and they're open Monday through Saturday from 11 to 6 and Sundays noon to 5. If you would like to call ahead, their number is 327-6088, and adoption fees do vary. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.